Hi everybody, it's Agnes and today we are having a little chat with Rasha. Rasha is in the USA. Hello Rasha. Hello everybody, <laughs> how are you? Good to see you. Hi Agnes, thank you so much for having me over. Ah, uh, it's lovely to have you. You and I have um, known each other for quite a while. How, how long do you think? It's been three years now, since 2016. So mm. it's around our, our anniversary. Wow. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, because it's the end of 2018 now. So, yeah. I didn't realize it was so long. It's been a good journey. I'm so happy and blessed I found you. Oh, that's, that's good. It's, um, it's good to see you because I haven't had contact with you for a little while. So yes. I wanted to um, just have you on because I think you know, you especially having been doing a lot of work on yourself for, well, for at least three years, and I'm sure before then in different ways. Yes. I yeah. have to thank you for your impact in my life. Um, Self-love that I learned um, from you, it's really um, helped. I can say, like, I see and sense a lot of improvement yeah. in the past three years, you know, more than whatever I was trying before. So yeah. I want to Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, I um, I have to say I've really seen such a change in you, you know, from when I first met you to now and just how much, well, you've been working on your self-love and your internal work. So can you share a little bit about, you know, what, how you've done that, where you were, where you are now? I, you know, I would say it is growing. Uh, as human, we really have to grow. If we don't, we basically die, you know. And um, I want to start to say how I found Agnes, everybody. Um, it was around this time. I would say it was November or early December 2016. I was feeling sick. And then I was just like, I looked for love. I said, oh, I need love in my life, okay? That's why I'm sick. Then she, her meditation came up. And this lady, she had this six parts, amazing parts, serious. Very short meditations. That's really, I thought, let me try it. It's called self-love, whatever that means. <laughs> Let's try that. <laughs> I self-love. Surprisingly, in that year, <clears throat> earlier 2016, in my goals, I say, I wrote, like, I'm going to love myself more. And I have to say, I try to do my best. Then I found you. And I did the sixth part. And I was just like, okay, sh that feels good. And I did them all in one day. <laughs> Wow, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> because I was like late. Then I was like, can I, let me ask her, because I'm, I'm familiar with the six phase meditation read by um, uh, Mr. Lakiani. Maybe you know the six phase meditation and it's really great. Oh, yeah, Vishen Lakiani. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. I was just like, if this lady has all her parts together, that will be just an amazing like meditation. Like For me, it was a perfect meditation. Yeah. And I requested it from Anne. I said, can you have it? And usually in YouTube, not everybody will respond to you or read your comment or say anything. But she yeah. actually did right away. And she was like, sure, I'll make it for you. And she actually did it. And I was like, oh, wow, she actually, a real person. She, this person responded to me. It's not a business. <laughs> it's, not like, you know, it's not scam. That's a human being there who actually yeah. cares. So, um, and things have been just so good after that. I have to. Um, I will say I'm somebody basically who, thanks goodness, I do take care of myself, but I learned how to be more aware. Um, the key, one of the keys for self-love is really to be aware of your feelings. If it doesn't feel bad, you stay away of it. If it feels good, that's the right thing, you know? Not everybody in this world has this, like, sensitivity. And I think that's something, that was part of the growing. That's how I I found out, like, you know, actually I found other guy in the YouTube, he said, how do you know that you are aware? How do you know you improved yourself? They said, okay, his advice was, and it's in the YouTube, he was like, um, how fast you feel happy? How fast mm -hmm. you let go? How fast you are not worried? How, fa how, how can you enjoy the little thing? And that makes you happy. Now, yeah. if you are at this stage, you say, okay, I'm, I can really like shovel that thing really fast. And yeah, I'm okay. I's I'm happy. I don't need that drama. I don't need that negative thought, I'm fine with what I have, then you know you're in the right path. You're doing the right thing. Mm. Lovely. Um, Rasha, <laughs> I, so agree with, I so agree with you. I think, too, um, it's such a thing that you learn and then you have to keep doing it every day. And, 
then you really get to see the benefits with your health, with how much happier you feel, with how much more energy you have, just how much more you enjoy life and all those things. Um, Russia, just so people know, can you tell them a bit about where you come from? I mean, you're in the US, but your background, you're not American. Thank you for asking. I yeah. am proudly Saudi Arabian American. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you learn how much you love your country when you start loving yourself, you know? This is who you are. That's what's making me today. So it's, I'm so grateful to be from Saudi Arabia. I'm so grateful originally, so grateful that my job is really related to my country. Yes. I mean, I do, what I do every day is I just be myself. <laughs> I think that, and the world appreciates me for that. Yeah, lovely. And, um, I have to say I live in America. I love it so much also. So I think I've been lucky in this life to have the best of both worlds. Yes. They say another thing that I am Muslim. I'm Muslim, basically. And beliefs are a normal thing in every religion, every culture, as we have good beliefs and we have yeah. bad things. So I want to say to people who might think about religion and whatever your opinion about, my opinion is we learn good values from religion. We learn our core values from religion. And we, are, we should keep these ones. We should keep the good things with us. Mm -hmm. right? So like in my religion, I'm Muslim, we learn about gratitude, being thankful. We learn forgiveness, how you have to forgive people. In a, in, a, in a little age, you know, you learn how you treat people as, as you want to be treated, right? Most religions are like that, yeah? Yeah. We learn how when life knocks you down, you, at the time that you go and pray and ask for help, we learn that you're always protected because if you trust God and believe in it, he is there for you. So there are good things. Like some people, when they come with the awakeness, you know, and they start to say, okay, they really kind of have some issues with the religion, which is, it's some people like that. For me, no, I believe my, my growth was happening through my core belief. It's really strengthening me. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of working on merging self-love with religion, mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you find they go together? I find it, yes. And yes, because God in the Quran, he said, God is not going to change any, like they're translating roughly, what not change anything in you if you don't change it within yourself. So it, it, it is, it is there, it is there, but how people interrupt it, that's a different thing. Mm. And people who will consider any sign of self-love, even the word self-love, they think that's selfishness, right? Yeah. You meet these people who they yes. have their battle every day, hating on themselves. Yes. They just smile, think they're the worst people. Putting mm. themselves down, and I don't think that's a religion is so, but that societies teach like that, right? Mm. People compare themselves to each other. People com compare themselves to me. And I tell them, no, you know what? I, I, I don't, this is the secret for success. You don't compare yourself to anybody else. You compare yourself to your yesterdays. So you become a better mm. self. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. You're wasting your time thinking, oh, this person is better than me. Or I have to be like that person. Mm, mm. A lot of us get that, and that has nothing to do with religion. It's like this is how society, is, schools, you know, peers, and fortunately, fortunately, families teach when they have kids, when they have relatives. That's happened to us. And mm. in a way, this makes me think, well, one day I want to be a mom. And I promise myself I'm teaching my kids this fourth thing that they are loved. Yeah. <laughs> they are very, very important. Yeah. And they're worthy. And yeah. they deserve everything yeah. from you. Yeah. That, I think, is one of the greatest things you can teach a human being. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know that, you grow up and have wars and hate. If they don't know that you really, there is a space for you and everybody. And you can be successful as long as your next person. It's like, it's a group work. You are not only there. But anyhow, I'm sure my kids would be really happy knowing that. <laughs> yeah. The greatest gift you can give your children is the work you do on yourself. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of work that I have done, to be honest, is about um, 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 anger also. You have yeah. an anger one and I have, and I cry. I'm very sensitive to people. Sorry, I, don't, I cry no, all the time. No, don't be sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, no, tears. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
people from my culture are very emotional. We cry yeah. when we are happy. We cry when we are sad. We cry yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just normal. It's just like, oh, <laughs> That's oh my gosh, very sad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's real. Go. It's real. Letting go of anger and things toward the ones you love, and especially your own self. That's yeah. Important. You yeah. must work on your mad at yourself. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many things over the years that you can be angry about and then you take that into your body. Mm -hmm. I think that's the cause of a lot of illnesses and sicknesses mm -hmm. is that one thing, you know. And it's hard sometimes not to be angry at what people do to you or what happens to you or what's happening in your country or what's happening with the government or politics or religion or money. Yeah. And again, yes, you taught us this and also it's Louise Hayes school you are basic from the school same mm. school um people behave and some people can do great but the thing is you have always to ask yourself what i'm doing where is it coming from is it coming from love yeah here or is it coming from selfishness mm. so some people i think they love themselves and they try to do things but they actually like sabotaging themselves you know and some people actually, you just have to make sure I'm doing that. Why? If you're doing it because you care really and love the other people, you're in the right path. If you're doing it for hate or revenge or whatever, you need to think. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ah, this is, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it is such a life school as they call it. <laughs> You learn, but it's it is good. I'm so glad that I found it in an early stage. Yes, yes. Really respectful person at my job, and he was like, "How is life?" I say, "It's good. Everything yeah. is good." Right. Yeah. It's really not worthy. Nothing in this life is really worthy that we worry. Really. Yeah. Short. <laughs> it's first of all, it's short, and it's really yeah. it shouldn't be really hold. So he was like, "I'm so happy to see you know, knowing that at an early age, because some people yeah. they live and they die without." knowing that yes that's so true Rush, think, are, you, are you still in the same job than when i last spoke to you i am working yeah it's i i, I got a job for a whole year now i'm a contractor so i am there uh, for a second year i like yeah. it so much and yeah i, I love my job yeah so and how many how many days are you there i'm there every day it's a full time <laughs> full time and then you do your youtube channel after I hours do my, yeah, i have a youtube channel everybody yeah and Yay, I love it and I do it. I do my stuff at any time as you record. So I do post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Like the schedule. It's an Arabic language and culture teaching. Yes. So somebody here just came to say hello. Hello, Agnes. <laughs> hello. Oh. He's just so busy. Uh. <laughs> See, in, in my channel i really try to teach some vocab and um yeah um, aspect about the culture sometimes grammar sometimes things about um uh what else i talk about like uh, things book reviews and stuff related to the yep. Arabic culture yes Thank you for bringing it up i enjoy it yeah and i've been i lost a family member last year and he before he died he said i would love to if I, if, if I can, like, if I'm healthy, I will have a YouTube channel to record my experience. Yeah. And I would say we are in this day and time, like, it's easy to access to information. It's yeah. Free. So it if is. you have something to give, please go and give it. Yes. Before it's too late. <laughs> you mm, know? If mm. you still can do something good and you think that's the right thing to do to the world, mm. it's always the right time is now. Mm. And I mean by that with everything. Like people think, okay, I'm going to be in a diet. I will eat healthy. I will start tomorrow. I will work out. I will start tomorrow. I will love myself. I will do it tomorrow. I say no, there is no tomorrow. Do it now, okay? Yeah. yeah. Go now into the walk. You yeah. know, go and eat an apple. Make your choices today. That's it. Mm. That is what you call it. Like you know, um, a conscious creating that you do it by yeah. yourself. Right. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So how long have you been doing that? the the channel now because i've i had a look at a few youtubes when you mentioned it to me i went and had a look thank you, thank you for i started in august i have i'm still doing it and i don't have like a lot of subscribers yet but listen it's really the quality not the quantity <laughs> well we'll put we'll put the link to your channel down below and i'm sure there's some people that speak arabic that will you know uh, yes anybody who's interested thank you so much and yeah that's yeah. i think 
as long as I'm enjoying doing it, I will keep doing that. Yeah. Right? It makes me happy and it's fun. Yeah. Yes. So I think that is the reason. It's you don't do your channel because you want to be a millionaire. You don't yeah. do something because you want something back. You just do it because you think, yes. okay, this is me. This is what I have. I would like to share it with you. Yes. And I do think that because, you know, when you do go on YouTube, you do see the people that are giving and you see the people that are trying to get. Yes. You know, I, I really see that regularly that mm -hmm. that you know people that are always saying you know mm -hmm. do, can you do this do that subscribe give me the thumbs up do this it's mm -hmm. like you know i personally think if you just give and people know how do you use youtube they will give you a thumbs up they will mm -hmm. you know because it's you're there to give to them like you say and if you come from that place mm -hmm. your 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 channel eventually just grows it just does yeah. I used to do it more, but now I'm doing it less because I think, as you said, in the beginning, like, I, I saw a lot of like YouTube, they do, and they always recommend like, you know, for coaching or try to say, do it. Then after that, I was just like, as you said, do you know, it's, let's get into the business, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I respect people's time, basically. As you, and as you said, if somebody likes me, they'll go on like and Yeah. Exactly right. Exactly. And so yeah, I have I have to say I'm so happy and thankful that my biggest supporter is my mom. She watch my channel <laughs> and she give me her feedback. Oh, uh, <laughs> so that, I learned that I love her so much unconditionally, and that's one thing I cannot change about her. Yeah. <laughs> so, and she's not very, in. She's not in the U.S. She's uh, She's in. She's back Saudi, home. Yeah. She's back home. Yep. Yeah. Is that she watch and she gave me her feedback because she wants me to be perfect, and I was just uh, like, you know I cannot really change that. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> That's one thing in our lives we have to learn. You just accept and just let it go. <laughs> yeah, that's really <laughs> funny. Oh, that's funny. That's really. I promise her that I will do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Oh, I have to meet a very high expectation. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. It's funny. Oh, it is really it cute. It is funny. It is. It is. Well, mm -hmm. have you got like a daily routine? You know, have you got anything you want to share in terms of what you do to help yourself still today? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's something that stuff most of them that you advise people maybe, but I can't tell you people. Self-love is really everything you do. So, um, and it's basically to better yourself. It's just to be always kind to yourself. yourself. Yeah. If people are not kind to you, you have to be kind to yourself. It doesn't matter what, the, what people really say, what they do, how they behave. In my opinion, you really, what matters is how, what you say to yourself and how you treat yourself. Mm. And um, it's just, um, so my routine is just simple. I can do simple things from like having the tea meditation, you know? <laughs> tea meditation. There's nothing in the world tea cannot fix. Tea <laughs> fix everything. I agree. No problem. Get some tea. You're fine. Oh, you know? it's so good. Just like I have to say, um, <laughs> being active is good. Yeah. Energy. So find your, your favorite part. You're walking bike, cycling, yoga, running, find what's good for you and do it. Yeah. Um, to people who like say, oh, we want to lose weight, um, make sure that you know that you start today. Mm. The people who really don't lose weight are the people who say, oh, do it tomorrow. <laughs> they're telling you. You just have to come and say, okay, this is where I am. This is what's going today. I'm going today to change it, you know? So I do work out, I do my yoga, I follow good channels, I can recommend to you if you want to have the links, they're free, and they're being there on YouTube for years. Also work out, like, I find my time to work out at home. Yeah. Be yourself best friend, motivate mm -hmm. yourself. That's what are I you, do. Are you talking about channels where you work out at home? At home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Do, I do the same, I do a yoga channel. Yeah, which I love, one do you um, a lady called Melissa West. She's, okay. in, she's in Canada. She's new to me. I follow yoga with Adrian. She's in America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that is the thing. Um, eat the food that makes you feel good. Yeah. Makes you, I eat food. Like if when I'm sick, when I'm down, I go and pick up the food and I know this food would make me, I like it. I enjoy, enjoy most of the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Can I say one thing about everyone? 
is you pushed out because yes you are oh. energy you are we are energy okay and energy does overlap okay so you have to know they might be we all know and meet negative people around us right at work at the supermarket you might not done anything wrong really like you i've been working on myself for so long i still find people who act like in a specific way okay <laughs> that i don't see it positive however what i learned also is it might be different things you know but really if you cannot change it you have to let it go really don't take anything personal and on yourself like your specific if you're a specific person because i know you're the queen of specific person so let me say to the ones who really wants to attract specific person just let that person go <laughs> let them fly and really wish them happiness that's it you say it many times yeah. and i would just repeat it it couldn't be any easier than that you know mm. let that person go and just work on yourself be happy yeah. make sure you are just wishing them happiness you're not wishing yeah. them to die or to have a car accident <laughs> or to meet somebody else where they will suffer it's okay yeah Life is good he and fair let him just be happy and within yourself work on yourself like you know yeah. you always say think of that person as he loves you mm. he's your enemy don't fight with them in your mind please yes yes don't repeat the drama over yeah. because yeah. that we are stuck in drama that we don't move on yep yeah and you say it many times i said from experience not with one person before i knew and yes mm. grandmother talk okay this is my grandma <laughs> she said well, you know, you just let him go. If he loves you, he will come back. That's it, right? Anything, like, you know, and you know that you're valuable, right? If you love yourself, mm -hmm. you know, I am valuable. He won't find somebody better than me. He'll be back mm -hmm. eventually, right? And if you value yourself, you don't chase and try and beg and do all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, because that's mm -hmm. never going to get you what you want. Never it's does. okay to be clear. The moment when that person comes and sits with you at the table and say, listen, I respect you. I, I love you. I want to work something out with you. You be clear and say, yes, mm. I, I, have, I respect you too. I love you too. Let's work it out. Mm. Together, work it out. Exactly. Yeah. But if somebody goes, you just, it's okay. I, this is out of respect to the person at yourself. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's self-love. Can yeah. I say one last thing about self-love? You look so Ooh. beautiful. Camera. Look at us, we're also dressed up with our lipsticks. <laughs> um, my YouTube channel helped me a lot to love myself more. Yeah. I heard this advice like in the beginning. I'm, I'm, I'm a sh camera shy. I'm not somebody who really wants to be out. Like, I'm very, I'm not introvert, but I like to be in my own business, in my, yeah. You know, I'm not like somebody who wants to show. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. The advice was in the beginning record yourself as much as you can to start for somebody who never done it. Yeah. And make sure you love yourself. Like you like that person. Look, watch your video and do you like this person? Do you love that person? Do you believe in that person? Mm. If that is the case, that's a great self-love because mm. people will love you. But if you kind of say, I look ugly, I don't like myself, I'm not like this, this means that you need to work on it because nobody mm. would really like you or love you if you don't have that love. Mm. So I think it's true. It's true, Rasha. The more you love yourself, the more beautiful you look, the more comfortable you are, the more natural you are, the more relaxed you are. That's all self-love. It's not about, I mean, yes, the, you can have the lipstick on and you look, you know, you've got your lipstick on and you feel, you know, a little bit better, but it really is the energy of you. That's what. Yeah, but yeah. that's it. It's normal. Like, I, for myself, like if I want to feel like the energy in the house, I clean my house, I move furniture. Yeah. Human, human being, we like to groom ourselves, groom yeah. our life. Yeah. We like to be presentable for ourselves. Yeah. So yeah. You, you feel good, right? Yeah, for sure. But even even my person, when he like he, it's normal. Even guys, they go, they get like a haircut, they like to take. Mm. It's, at the moment you take care of yourself, it makes you feel good. Yeah, it does. It does for sure. Oh well, very good. Well. Now we're going to do something a bit different today. You yes. are going to, we're going to change seats and you're going to, we decided you would ask me some questions today. We are. <laughs> I will try to have it on my channel. And the reason of yeah. doing this, thank you so much, first of all, to do this, Agnes. No problem. Um, it is, um, 
again, self-love is a universal language and people from different culture, um, they sometimes, you know, we all, at the end of the world, we have the same thing. We want the same thing at the end of the day. Yeah. So I want you as an example, I want, I, let me introduce you. So everybody, marhaban bikum. Welcome to my channel. Absolutely, Rasha. We do check Rasha. I'm Rasha. Have a masood, so digi masood. When you are, we'll be with Anis. Hi, Anis. Hello, darling. I'm gonna sit down here. Okay, you're so sweet. Anis, I would like her to introduce herself, and um, I will ask you. So, and if you want to t tell us who are you, Anis, in a couple of words. Go ahead. Who am I? I'm Agnès Vivarelli. I am born in the south of France. I have lived in Canada for 16 years, Australia for 32 years, and now I live between Sydney and London. She's 23 years old, okay? Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't believe that. Don't do the math. She is amazing. <laughs> I'm 51. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Beautiful, Agnès. So, uh, speaking... Two languages? You yeah. Speak how many languages? Two? Two. Um, in, in, in this journey, you, learn, you decided to do something for a living. Uh, what do you do for a living? What's, what's your job for now? For now? Mm -hmm. I do coaching with people one-on-one, -on -one, like we're doing today, on Skype or on Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I do courses and I also write books I've got three mm -hmm. books the third one's about to be released mm -hmm. and they're all under the umbrella law of attraction and the teachings of Neville Goddard yes thank you so if I would ask you um, in a funny way to tell me <laughs> what your job this it's not an easy job to coach people so if you want to tell me in your job what do you actually not how you do it what is it? That's a little bit deep, you know? What do mm. you do to these people? To, because law of attraction, I, I want to say people, and yes, she's the queen of self-love. She's the one who will teach you the most important thing, <laughs> how to love yourself. But this is very, like, fancy name. I want to know, like, in your opinion, yeah. how, what, you know? Well, I think in simple terms, it's, because a lot of people come to me, most people come to me because originally they have a problem in a relationship, usually a breakup or they've had, they've lost their job or they've got a health issue. So they come because usually they're in some kind of desperate situation. Mm -hmm. That's why they get on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's how they find me. And then we work together, if that's what they choose to do, we work on them. It's not working on really, you do work on a solution to the problem, but often the problem is within and it's a lack of self-love in some area or a lack of understanding about mm -hmm. why you've attracted what you've attracted in your life. So it's about really working on solutions instead of going over and over problems. I try not to let people talk too much about their problems because you just reinfect yourself with it mm -hmm. again and again. So it's very much solution based. It's very positive. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you do a lot of positive impact in people's lives. And um, uh, what do these people add to your life? Because I'm sure, like, you know, you get something a little bit. So as a I person, do. when you grow, like, and you did this job, um, what would you say, like, to, that you think you learned? Or? Well, see, all my clients or the people I work with are me pushed out. So if mm -hmm. people are coming to and their self-love isn't good, that means there's something still in me that I need to continue to work on. Mm. And that's why really in the end, you're not really helping anyone else. You're helping yourself and you're letting go of parts of yourself. And if I'm doing this work, that tells you that I still need to dismantle, dissolve and continue to improve my own self-love. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this work. So, mm -hmm. you know, and that's where the whole Pono Pono comes in. That's where Neville Goddard's Everyone As You Pushed Out comes in. I am constantly working on myself because I'm constantly talking about relationships, third party, specific person, I've just lost my job, they don't want me, I'm rejected, I don't feel good enough, I don't feel loved, I don't feel wanted. I'm always working with those beliefs and then flipping them into 
the opposite. So that's the work. It's amazing. I mean, it is amazing work. It's it, every, every single session is like you learn things, you, you get things reflected back to you. You see people suffering, you see people that break through and their self love is starting to fix everything because it's the person that has to do the work. I work on myself, but they're doing the work too. Yes. No, I don't want you to be suffering. No, no, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I want you happy. So, um, this is all really, really good and great. Um, so, as a person, like you are, you're kind of healer. Because you are not only like a coach, somebody who's... No, healthy. I'm not. No, Rasha, I'm not a healer. I will never say I'm a healer. I don't heal anyone. I just deliver a message and people do their own healing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's also true, maybe. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, but this is like something that in your life, like in your daily life, uh, yeah. what, what do you do, for instance? What's your morning habits? The thing you do as somebody like, you know, like you wake up early? No, you know? never. <laughs> I don't like early mornings. <laughs> okay. I, get, I get out of bed at maybe 9, 9.30. Uh, but I, you know, I might wake up at 8.30 and then I just put on the whole Pono Pono meditation or I'll put on a self-love meditation or I'll put on Wayne Dyer and then I do my own uh, affirmations. Uh, uh, what others, what's your favorite top three self-love that Agnes does for her, herself like regularly and you think that is what's helped you as a person? Say that again. The top three self-love that's your favorite. These are the three things that you do. Well, I think it's doing extended meditation. I don't think 15 minutes really, 20 minutes really works for me. Oh. Because I know my mind is still distracted at that time. So if I do um, 45 minutes to an hour meditation, that's much better for me. It makes me, it makes me sit still. It makes me be more peaceful it makes me surrender more it makes me let go more so extended meditations say 45 minutes to an hour in the morning 45 minutes to an hour at night and then i usually do between 500 and a thousand affirmations every day i've got my little counter and i go for a walk and i do my affirmations and also i think it's important to because of the work i do it's on the computer all the time to get off the computer to go and do yoga um, sometimes I do it online. Other times I just know which, you know, poses or postures I want to do. So I just do, you know, 30 minutes of yoga or something. And it's doing all this daily and continuing to do it because I know since I've been doing it with, you know, my friend and I that we do the law of attraction together, we have conversations, you know, as often as we can every week that, it's also with her, I do the three questions. Um, what do you appreciate? What do you want and why do you want it? And what makes you think you're going to get it? We do those three questions together. And we, she does them with me and then I do them with her and we do them on a phone call. So that keeps you positive and it keeps you remembering to be grateful for things. And it also keeps you focused on what you want and it keeps you try you know, as much as possible, not talking about what you don't want. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this. Because you, they always say, like, every person, every master, they have their way of doing things. And, you know, and, and yes, uh, it's just me say this because I would translate it in Arabic. Yeah. Maybe, maybe some people don't know what is the Honopono prayer. And I yes. To, um, to my viewers, just these are, it's an ancient Hawaiian prayer. It has like four sentences. It's been translated into Arabic. I found yeah. meditation. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and what I would say is um, the, um, for Muslims, we have also similar prayer that we ask God for forgiveness. And yeah. I heard people saying miracles happened after doing that. Yeah. Like, probably people don't know really it's a meditation, but they yeah. go like for 20 minutes or an hour and ask God for forgiveness and things change yeah. because basically when you believe God forgave you, you start believing, starting to forgive yourself. Then things start to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's Honopono is something for, I can have link for it, maybe in Arabic, but it's, um, it's a very helpful. I would say it's kind of meditation, right? Like kind of prayer meditation slash. Mm -hmm. Well, it's very repetitive and it's very, 
you can't be negative and be doing the whole ponopono. So it, it distracts your mind to doing something more positive and more effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you've been through a journey and you mentioned how important to be positive. So what do you do to keep yourself positive? Well, I spend a lot of time alone. I do. I, I love being alone. I spend a lot of time, especially when I'm in London, because all my friends are mainly in Sydney. I, to be positive, I do meditation. I do, you know, I'll just read, I'll watch YouTubes. I'll do the work that I do with other people. See, because when I'm help, helping someone it's like I'm focusing on this all day because I'm working with people, which means I have to then be positive to be able to give that information. So it makes me focus. It makes me stay in those mental states while we're discussing affirmations and all those things. So my work actually really helps me to continue to focus on those things. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah. Really good. And where do you see yourself five years from now when you are 27 years old? <laughs> <laughs> well, in five years' time, I think I will be pretty much in the same place because I am free today. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the work that I do. I work as many hours as I choose to. These days, I do have two days off a week. I used to work seven days a week when it was a brand new business. Now, it's working back, you know, to a more balanced life. And balance is more important to me than money, really. I love, I love having balance. I love having a day that I don't feel exhausted. I used to feel exhausted from work a lot. Now, it's just easy. I don't work. You know, if I don't want to work eight hours in a day, I don't. I lay down, I'll watch a movie, I'll watch some Netflix, I'll relax, I'll do some yoga, I'll do a meditation. Even some days during the middle of the day, I think, oh, my eyes are a bit tired from the computer. I'm going to lay on my bed. I'm going to do a meditation in the middle of the day. So it's like the balance and the well-being is the most important thing. So in five years' time, that is going to be continued well-being, continued, you know, just continuing to be and see the people that I love. My family's in France. My mum's in Sydney. My partner is in London. So I love being able to see everybody as much as I want. That to me is one of the most important things. Yes, of course, you need money to do that. But I don't... Um, I'm not driven by the money. I'm driven more by the freedom. Yes, you need some money to be free, but, you know, I'm not going to kill myself. And I could work twice as much as I do if I wanted to because the work is there. But if I'm going to do this work effectively, I've got to be practicing what I'm talking about. True. So True. I think that's the most important thing is the balance and the mentally secure mind and the emotionally secure and peaceful state. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is really important to me. And in five years time, that is still what I'm going to continue to do. The business will grow. Yes. I'm starting to employ people to do different things. And I do love that it's starting to be able to give other people work. So as it grows more, I will give other people work and I will continue to do what I love, which is the YouTubing and relaying information. I love that part. I love giving information that gives people relief. May I say that Agnes has two different YouTube channels that are total free. And I found her in YouTube, actually. I will put the link. So one of the YouTube channel, uh, she will talk about interviews. Uh, you'll find me. I mean, she interviewed me today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, feel really, I feel famous now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she interviewed a lot of people um, all around the world. Yeah, they share experience. She talked also about something. It's called novel nuggets. Now, this is just to tell. It's an idea for my my audience who might audio 
audience, they might be not really familiar with it. Um, it's, it's in English, but it's just a different idea of thought, but it's very similar to what as Muslim believe, because it's come from a religion, right? Because I'm religious, yeah. he's a religious man. Mm -hmm. Basically, like you really have to trust God and you really have to believe that you are the one who are creating everything. And really you have to believe you can do it. This is the belief in yourself. So that's, I think that's my opinion about Nabil. He might, ha it's his why he talk about yeah. a lot of things. And it's very difficult. So thank you. And, and yes, you're right. <laughs> it is difficult. Oh, like, oh, what, what? Is he speaking English? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, and that's the thing, Russia. If English isn't your first language, then you got to try and understand it. It's like. It's yeah. very like ancient, <laughs> different English. I'll be like, okay. Then and yes, she comes and she makes it. <laughs> like easy for, for dummies so thank you yeah, for yeah. your second channel is pure meditation mm -hmm. and i have to say i love your meditations when they were just your voice you just go and record them and yeah. post them but the, she's putting a lot of effort like adding um what do you call it the sub sub minute sub minute like music or stuff are you adding music the music, yes. One of the, yes viewers, one of the viewers does the music now. Yeah, she's, she's having like very good job. And it's all about like um, self-love a lot. It's mostly yep. about self-love and um, other things like really are helpful. So um, I will add them. Feel free to check them. I would love to help you when I get some time to translate at least some of them. The, 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 I did it with only one then. Yeah. But I promise I, I, I will have it in my to-do mm. list. Yeah, because it's uh, help people, you know? Yeah. Um, the law of attraction is not a new concept. Like, it's been introduced since The Secret Chart. Right? So the book was translated into Arabic. Yeah. And people start to read it. And I'm sure a lot of people apply it in their life. And they had lo a lot of success. Um, how do you convince everybody that the law of attraction, it does exist and it works all the time. <laughs> like if you, even you say that people just like, what? No, I think I have to do something to make it work, you know? And you tell them, and what do you tell them? What, what's your, your message uh, to an expert? The law of attraction is always happening to you because mm -hmm. you are, as a human being, you are energy and vibration. So whatever vibration and energy you're projecting out, Mm -hmm. It attaches itself to situations mm -hmm. and different things that happen to you around money, job, relationships, your body weight, your health, all that stuff. So whether you believe in it or not, it's like saying, oh, well, I don't know if I believe in the law of gravity. But the thing is, even if you don't believe it, if you jump out the window, you're going to hit the ground. And it's the same with the law of attraction. You, you're what you're affirming to yourself, what you're thinking about, because it operates through what you think and feel. That's what brings back. That's the law of projection. The law of attraction brings back something to you in, in experiences. So even if you don't believe it, you're going to be living something. And, and it's okay if like, it's not like, okay, I want something and it just pop up right away. It's okay to, you have to do the work. And believe things happen at the right time, you know, and keep doing the work without giving up because people give up fast. Mm. Well, if you want something positive or something specific or something different to what you're living, yes, mm -hmm. then you've got to be more deliberate about what you project out. Mm -hmm. I want to share this. I meant to share it, share it with you. It's a poem that I found it online. Yeah. Uh, and it's about griefing. Just give me a second. I'm going to get my cell phone because it's just right there. So I found this uh, at Facebook and they had this, not very long, but it's talked about, it's a little like poem about anger. Yes. And I believe anger is one of the big things that stopping us from getting what we want in life, which is happiness. So I'll try to read it. Nobody laugh at my accent, okay? I will translate it to Arabic. You guys are reading Arabic. <laughs> you know, so it says, I sat with my anger long enough until she told me her real name was Grief. <clears throat> anger will stay within us, forcing us to carry a dark thickness within our souls in place of the light and love we are created from if we don't recognize this anger if we don't sit with it long enough to see what is shielding 
what is behind the mask, that mask. We are forever missing a piece of our soul. Through our soul retrieval, we sit with that anger. We uncover the hurt, we, the sorrow, the grief, the one that we have yet to heal and allow to feel true love for the very first time. We fill that want, that soul part that we left behind with light and love, healing it, forgiving it, and forgiving ourselves for preventing us to live and experience our life with our complete soul. We heal, we give our soul love and light, and at last we are whole. Hmm. And it's called, I say it with my anger, and it's from a, a conscious reminder. It's a Facebook page here. I found it. And I read that. And I was just like, if somebody is angry, that means they've been hurt. So yeah. you have to be kind with them and forgive them. Yeah. I, I, the, and we have a lot of anger in this world. Mm. And you know, people are really hurt. So yeah. thank you so much for what you're doing to the world. How what you mm -hmm. are, like, Agnes is not only a coach. She's a friend. She's somebody who really is there for you. And what she's doing is like the job that to help everybody to be a better self, to be their own, the best self, you know? Not everybody would do that job. People go after money, people go after power, people go after the wrong thing. But she, thank you for doing the right thing. Ah, oh, my pleasure, Rasha. My pleasure. I, I just think it's so wonderful that, you know, because we, you and I have known each other for some time, and our paths have crossed and come together. And then, you know, it's, it's the timing of things. And, you know, it's been in my mind to interview you for about seven or eight months. And just the Actually, timing. We about it last year. <laughs> I we know. 2017. We were in the group like before that. Yes. And you said, would you like to say, I want to. Then, what are the great things that's happened in your life in 2018? Because I know it's thanks, around Thanksgiving time here in America. Yes. So let's end up this by saying the top like three things you you are thankful for this year. That you say, okay, I did this and this and this. And yeah. What, what are you thankful for? Anise? I'm extremely thankful to Google and YouTube for <laughs> the freedom that they give me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Technology, it's magic. <laughs> yeah, I'm extremely thankful that I have, I too have a beautiful mother that loves me. So I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for the friends and the partner that I have and that I no longer wake up with an alarm clock ever. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Rasha? Well, I'll probably will try my best. Yeah, I am. Um... <laughs> So thankful and grateful for my mom. She's alive. I'm going to see her soon. Going yes. Her. It's amazing. My job that I love so much. So yeah. much. My great team and supervisors, they're all really great. Um, my place, I moved. So what, there's some, I think one of the things I did last year is I moved to a place that's close to work and I really, very comfortable. I really like it. And that's really thing. Yeah. Also, I'm thankful for my YouTube channel, my followers. Yes. We're great friends again. And... Let's also remember how good our life with peace and safety yeah. and that, that we, we have everything we need, like food. Yeah. Internet, yeah. We, are, we are very lucky people. Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes when you go to the thing, there is this question in science, like, God gave me all of that. Do I really deserve it? You know, that's yeah. the, the, for all of us. It's just like, you know, I will try my best to make sure that I'm yeah. thankful for that. You know? Yeah. Because we, all of us, we deserve that. Yeah. Not, unfortunately, some of us we don't really give the enough thanks for it. Yes, the gratitude for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. Mm, that was amazing. Ah, oh, lovely. I know. Beautiful. Well, I will put down below all of Russia's details and anything. Did I forget to say thank you to my person? Oh my yeah. gosh, sorry. I love you and, I, and thank you so much. <laughs> 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 if you're like, oh. you know, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> well, Rasha, do you want to say goodbye to the viewers and then stay on the call because you and I can say goodbye by ourselves? Absolutely. Thanks Everybody, for coming. Thanks for coming. She's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> more of a yes in this world. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>